Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to extend the idea of parabolas and their focus points and think about where, how do we move it? How do we have it so that uh, instead of being centered at zero, zero, it's shifted up or down or left or right? We've done this sort of thing before, um, only with circles and with ellipses and hyperbolas. And um, the basic idea is the same. If you want to shift a graph horizontally a certain number of units, you simply take the x out of the equation and you replace it with x minus h. That uh, works vertically too. You take the y out of the equation and you replace it with y minus k. And so in our last video, uh, we saw that uh, there are two different types of equations. There's one uh, for a graph that opens to the left or to the right. And then there's another graph that, uh, another equation for whether it opens up or down. Um, if we take the y out and replace it with y minus k, and the x out and replace it with x minus h, then we get these formulas. And so these um, still have a spot where you can put the focal length. And if the focus is positive, it opens in the positive direction, and negative opens in the negative direction, and so on. Let's see a couple of these uh, sorts of things in action. So in this problem, um, we have to draw a parabola that has a focus at, uh, well, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure how to draw this. So let's see here. Um, I would suggest following a couple steps. If you want to draw a parabola with focus, um, first of all, decide if it opens to the left or to the right. Uh, then figure out where its center is, and uh, we've done that sort of thing a couple times before. Simply look at what makes this a zero and what makes this a zero. Uh, then find the focal length. We did that in the last video, looking at um, the part near where 4p is in the equation and solving that for p. Uh, and then finally, uh, you can draw the focus and uh, draw a curve towards that focus. So, let's see it. Um, let's see, in this problem, we've got y minus 3 squared equals something and x. The x chunk is not squared, the y squared chunk is squared, and so the x chunk not being squared is a horizontal parabola, like we see right here. So, I know it's a horizontal parabola. Now, um, let's see if we can find its center. And so, its center is, um, if we look here, 3 would make that a 0, so y is 3, and um, if we look here, 4 would make that a 0, so x is 4. So let's find the point 4, 3, and put a vertex there. It's not really a center, but it's a vertex. Maybe I can change that. There. Um, so now we op know that it opens um, either left or right, um, but we really need to figure out what the focal length is and where the focus is so we can make that decision. To do that, 20 is in the spot where 4p is. And so um, let me uh, just really quick solve an equation. If 4p is in this, or 20 is in the spot where 4p goes in our equation, then that means that p has to equal 5. And what's probably most important for us is that that's a positive 5. And so um, I'm going to take this and go in the positive direction, 5 spaces. And that is where the focus is. If you have to draw the directrix, it's going to be in the opposite direction, 5 spaces. should put us right here. So remember that parabolas always open towards their focus. And so... If we uh, pull maybe this guy down, we can draw this. And for now, this might be a good enough graph. If you really want to get more accuracy in here, then what you'd have to do is try to come up with some sort of x or y number to plug into the equation and um, find a, um, a pair of numbers that works. There's no easy way to just look at the equation that I know of and find another point that we can use to draw our graph with. Um, if you really need a more accurate graph, you could use Desmos or a calculator or something like that. But if you just want a quick sketch and know that the focus is over here, hey, we've done it. 
we'll try one more example. Um, so in this case, uh, steps again here. Um, determine if it's horizontal or vertical. Uh, this particular one is going to be a vertically oriented graph. Um, I know that because the y is not squared and the x chunk is. So this looks like a y equals x squared sort of graph. Remember, those are the up and down ones. Um, and so um, to find the center, um, we'll take a look at what makes this a zero and what makes this a zero. Um, six makes this a zero, and so um, it's going to have a x coordinate of six. Um, y doesn't have a chunk, right? It's not parentheses, it's not a group. Um, and so if y was just zero, that would make it a zero. And so six zero is the vertex in this place. And um, like last time, next thing I'll try to do is figure out the focal length. And to do that, I need to solve a quick equation. Uh, negative eight is in the spot where four P usually is. And so we'll write negative eight is equal to four P. Dividing both sides by 4, we get that p equals negative 2. And so if p equals negative 2, that means this is a graph that opens down. And so there is a focus two spaces down. And um, the directrix, if you have to draw that in, that is two spaces above. And um, I know it opens down, and so I can pull this guy over here. And uh, yeah, we could make it a little bit taller, a little bit wider, perhaps. Again, I can't really do a great job of drawing in um, exactly how accurate it is um, without plugging in some points and seeing if I could figure out an XY pair that works. In this example, we are asked uh, the opposite sort of thing. We um, want to uh, write an equation for it. And so we know we want the focus to be at 311. I'm sorry, whoa, there's two focuses in here. Oh, that's weird. One of them should be a vertex. Um, I'm just going to arbitrarily say that this one is vertex. So, vertex. There. So if it's got a vertex of 311 and a focus at 315, uh, and so let's maybe sketch its graph a second so I can see where these points are, and then I can decide what sort of equation to use and what the focal length is and so on. So um, first thing it says, we said it had a vertex of 311. And so vertex of 311 um, means that this point is three spaces and up 11. And then if it's got a focus of uh, 315, that would be three spaces up. And so it's definitely a graph that opens up. So something kind of like that. Um, if it opens up, then that means we need the equation x minus h squared equals 4p y minus k. Um, and h and k and p are going to be numbers that we're going to put into the equation. So the h and k values are the coordinates of the vertex. And we know that that's over 3 and up 11. And so we'll put a 3 in here, x minus 3. And we'll put an 11 in here. Of course, it's not big enough. There we go. So if um, if this was a negative 3, for instance, uh, we'd probably clean it up and write it as x plus 3 squared. You've seen that sort of thing before, I think, too. Last thing we need to do is put the focal length in here. And so the focal length is um, how far away the focus is from the vertex. And so it is... Um, this was at a height of 11, this was at a height of 15, and so if you subtract those, that's four steps away, and specifically four steps up, and so that means P is a positive four. So we'll put a positive four in here. And we could clean that up if you wanted to, make it a 16 instead of a four times four. People probably appreciate that. 
Here's a different example. I'll write an equation for a parabola with a directrix of y equals negative 5 and a focus of 6, negative 1. And sketch a graph. I actually would suggest you sketch the graph first so we have an idea of um, what uh, sort of picture we're looking at. So this um, uh, directrix of y equals negative 5 means that we have a directrix down here somewhere. It's got a focus at 6, negative 1. And so let's draw six spaces over and one, no, one space down. And so the vertex is got to be halfway in between those. And so we really need the coordinates of the vertex. And so the x-coordinate of the vertex would be 6, because that was the same as the focus. Um, the y-coordinate is going to be halfway in between negative 1 and negative 5. And so halfway between negative 1 and negative 5 is um, negative 3. So let me just put the coordinates of this uh, point here a moment. 6 and a negative 3. And so now I think we're ready to actually write our equation. Uh, it's got to be a graph that opens up towards the focus and uh, away from the directrix. And so we're going to use that same sort of equation we used last time. And um, we can fill in the horizontal number. This is the x of our vertex, which is 6. Then we can put in the vertical number, um, which would be a negative 3. And so here's an example where I would definitely rewrite that as y plus 3. And then we can put in our focal length. Our focal length um, is the distance from the vertex up to the focus. And so that is two steps, because this was at a height of negative 3, and our focus was as a height of negative 1. And so we can put a 2 in there for p. And uh, we could leave it like this, uh, certainly could clean it up a little bit. Um, I probably would. I'd probably write that as an 8 and write this as y plus 3 instead. Uh, some places might even require you to go further. Um, in fact, why don't we do that a moment? Uh, I think Khan Academy requires you to put things in either x equals or y equals form. And so why don't we figure out what that would entail. If we have x minus 6 squared equals, uh, I said we could multiply those together to get 8, and then y plus 3. I probably would suggest that we, um, oops, uh, I'd probably suggest that we, why is it doing that? There. Um, that we divide both sides by eight, and that would look like a one eighth on this side. And then we don't need this parentheses anymore. And uh, then we can subtract a 3 from both sides. And if we subtracted a 3 from both sides, now we've got an equation that's in y equals form, or if you'd prefer, y equals form. So that's the sort of thing I think Khan Academy requires when you write equations, is to put things in either x or y equals form. I wouldn't start there. I would start with this um, template, but then you can rewrite it and put it in that format. All right, let's look at one last example. In this example, they've given us a graph, and we're supposed to try to find the equation for it. Unfortunately, when you look at a graph of a parabola, uh, it doesn't usually tell us where the focus is or where the directrix is. Um, but you can probably pick off a couple of points. And in this case, uh, the vertex is clear at 10, 4. Uh, it looks like there's another point over here at 4, 3. There's a point over here at 16, 3. There's probably other nice points that you could find. Um, but anyway, what I can see from the graph is that it is vertically oriented and uh, pointed down. And so I'm going to use our vertical equation here. And um, I know that the vertex is 10, 4. So I can go ahead and put a 10 in here and a 4 in over here. 
problem is I don't know what P is. And so for now, I'm just going to call it P. And I'm going to have to find P somehow. And in order to do that, um, I will temporarily put a number in for X and for Y. And so if I can find another point besides 10, 4 that this graph goes through, I could put its coordinates in for x and for y, and this equation would be complete except for one variable. And so I'd be able to solve for it. So why don't we try that? Um, here's that same equation. Um, but uh, instead of an x here, I'll put in a 4, because I know it goes through the point 4, 3. And instead of a y, I'll put in a 3. And uh, in this case, I called it negative p because I knew that the focal length had to be some sort of a negative number. Um, we could probably go with that. Let me rewrite this a moment and call it negative 4p times all that. And over on the left-hand side, that's just a number. 4 minus 10 is negative 6, and negative 6 squared is 36. So let's call that 36. On this side, four times or three minus negative four is negative one. And if I multiply negative four by negative one, I get uh, positive four. And that's pretty easy to solve from here. Thirty-six equals four p. Divide both sides by p, and we get that. Excuse me, by four, and we get that p has to equal nine, or negative nine, depending on whether you called p positive or negative in the beginning. So in our case, we definitely need a negative 9 in the equation because it's, uh, it's going down. So I can put that in there. It's a negative 9. Oops. Negative 9. And uh, we could call it good if you wanted to emphasize the focal length there or if you really want to put it in a nice format. Um, we could do that too. Um, we'll just... Uh, Right, x minus 10 squared equals negative 36 times y minus 4. And if we do the same sort of steps we used in the last uh, slide to put this into y equals form, um, we'd want to divide both sides by negative 36 or multiply by 1 over negative 1 over 36. And then we can add a 4 to both sides. And we've got our y equals equation again. So hope that uh, helps you a little bit in looking at uh, parabolas that are shifted in various places. Um, in the next video, we'll kind of look at all the different uh, types of conic sections, circles, ellipses, uh, parabolas, hyperbolas, and talk a little bit more about their focus points and some applications. Why, why do we even care about the focus point? And so check back for that one. Hope you have a great weekend.